With only three apps installed in my Mac, I have managed to save at least one hour per week. And if we calculate this for an entire year, this is more than 50 hours, which accounts for a little bit more than one working week. So if you want to know which apps are these and how I'm managing to do so, please stay here and let's get into it. So the first of these trifecta of apps is called Alfred. This is the first app that every time somebody buys a new Mac, I encourage them to buy. And don't be afraid when I say buy because it is just a one-time only $30 purchase. But it is going to save you a, a ton of time. You will see why. Okay, as you can see here in my screen over here, there is a lot of features, but I am going to focus purely on three of them, which I think gives me the highest leverage of this app. So the first one is the snippets. This may remind you of a, an app called Text Expander. And what this feature basically does is whenever I'm going to be writing any of these keywords, Alfred is going to be pasting automatically any of these snippets. And how is this useful? So for example, if you work online, there is going to be a lot of links that you normally use, such as your Calendly links to allow others to book calls with you. So instead of always going to the Calendly app to find your meeting link, you can use it as a snippet. Others that I use is, for example, my Zoom link, because it is every time the same. This is my Zoom meeting link. Another case in which I use snippets, for example, is when I want to share an affiliate link. Because there is sometimes that I'm in Zoom chats and I just want to plug my affiliate link because I want to earn money. So this is a very fast way to do so. So now we are not only saving time, we're also earning money. The second feature that I want to show you are what Alfred calls workflows. So this is basically automations with some trigger. It can be a hotkey, it can be a snippet that you write, and you're going to trigger a whole automation. Okay, this I didn't do by myself. I just downloaded from Alfred's forum. And I'm going to walk you through the ones that I use the most. One of them is this emoji search, which allows me to invoke Alfred. This is like the spotlight feature in Mac. And then I have set it up. So whenever I write E space, I'm going to be searching emojis. So let's say that I want the happy emoji. So if I click now, command space, I'm going to paste this emoji in the app that I'm using. Another one that I use all the time, it is this one. This is a very easy one. This I did by myself that whenever I hit this shortcut, I am going to go to my Notion focus page. So let's try it out, Command Shift F, and here I am with all my to-dos, my script and everything. So this is a very easy way to come to this page, which is the one that I use every day to know what I have to do. Of course, you can expand this to open any app. I also have to open Spotify, to create a new note in Notion, to create a new task in Notion, to input a new idea. So you can get creative with this. And finally, one that I use every day is the clipboard history. I don't know how Mac doesn't have this by default. This is basically keeping everything that I store in my clipboard as a history, as its name say. So I have this already set up, this hotkey. So whenever I press it, I have here all my past clipboards that I can choose and they're also searchable. So how is this useful? So let's say that you copied an address, I don't know, like a couple of months ago, and you don't really remember where to get that address, but you kind of remember the name or, or the website or something like this. So for example, this happens to me sometimes uh, when people ask me about the Notions API, because I remember that I did a talk for Notion Singapore, but I never know how to get to that link. I will have to go to my email to find the emails that I had with the, with the organizers and everything. But I do remember the platform that we used, which was a uh, Crowdcast. So if here I just type Crow, so this is the first one. Here is the link. Okay, I will just have to click enter and that is it. It will be copied in my clipboard for using. This also works with images. So if you copy multiple images, then you can retrieve them. So this is super useful. Or for example, if I want to share one of my Gumroad products, I just have to go here, write Gumroad, and look, all the times that I have copied my Gumroad products are here. Okay, so I just have to find which one I want to paste, and that's it. Okay, the second app that I find a must to have on Mac, it is called Tiles. This app for me was born from a frustration on the way that the windows in Mac are handled. Maybe it's because they are windows. <laughs> that was a joke. So what this app allows me to do is to set a number of hotkeys that are going to allow me to position the windows however I want. So for example, one thing that I use 
all the time is, let's say that I'm writing the script for this video and I want to always be checking something here on top. So I will just use the shortcut to bring this to the left. I'm gonna open a new window and bring this to the right. You see how easy it was? So now I am able to have these two parts of the same page. But as you can see here, we not only can just arrange windows by halves, we can also use thirds. So I find the thirds very useful, for example, when I'm having a Zoom call with someone. So I will just put the Zoom call in these two thirds and the notes on the other third. So like this, I can have the Zoom call and just write here the notes. And finally, the possibility to make a window full page because every time I open a new window, they are normally like this, which I hate. So it is very easy to bring it full screen. So this is saving us time all the time just because look how long it takes to do the same manually. And then if I want to move it here and I just lost it, I don't know. This saves me so much time and like this, all my windows are always properly arranged. And finally, the third app is one that is tied to one particular piece of hardware, but that I found to be a huge time saver. And this is the Logitech MX keyboard and mouse. And no, this is not sponsored. Well, so I have both and what is very cool is that we can customize almost all the buttons in the mouse and the top buttons in the keyboard. So we can do whatever we want with them. Let me explain and why this is useful. So this is the setup app. If we click in the mouse, here we can see all the different buttons that the mouse has. So for example, I have set this central button to this command, and this is the command that I'm using in an app that I use for taking screenshots. So whenever I hit this button, this is going to appear, and I'm just able to take a screenshot and save it. So now it is in my clipboard. So just using my mouse, I can take screenshots like that. And this is also app dependent. So you can see that depending on which app I'm using different shortcuts. For example, in Notion, I have this forward and this for back. And I have, whenever I click the wheel, I'm gonna create a new Notion window because this is the shortcut to create a new Notion window. And then I have here some gestures that allow me to use the shortcuts that I use within the Tiles app. What does this mean? So for example, whenever I click this one and move the mouse to the left, I'm going to run this shortcut and what it's going to do is to bring the window to the left and I have the opposite one so whenever I press that button and I move the mouse to the right the app goes the window goes to the right so now think of all the shortcuts that any of the apps have that are just particular to that app so you can actually bring those shortcuts to your mouse or to your keyboard and if we go to the keyboard itself here are the ones that we can custom. So for example, one that I use all the time is to move in between workspaces within my Mac. So let's say that I have a full screen app in this workspace, but on the right, I would just click the F2 and I will move to it. And then F1, I will move back, okay? Well, I personally love everything that has to do with saving time when I'm working with a computer because I spend in my computer the most part of the day and if I'm able to save a little bit of time here and there, I'm gonna be very, very grateful. And hey, if you found any other cool stuff that we can do with our Macs in order to be more efficient, please share it in the comments below because we can all give ideas to each other. And also, if you're interested in saving even more time and you are a Notion user, which maybe if you are watching this channel, you are, please don't lose this video over here in which I go through all the automations that I use in my business by taking advantage of Notion's API. Well, so that is it for this video, guys, and as always, hasta la próxima.